Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes and I have previously done a tutorial on sourdough starter. Um, so hopefully you've gotten a head start on that and if it's been at least seven days, you have developed it enough to be able to start making some recipes with it. And I'm going to show you sourdough pancakes today. Um, this, when you do the sourdough pancakes, it doesn't need to be fully activated like it does for this sourdough bread. You do the water test where if it floats, it's ready for the bread. You can actually use the discard. When you're feeding your uh, starter each day, you take out half of it and then you add more flour and more water to it. But the, the part you take out, the discard, you can use for other things like sourdough pancakes, which I'll be showing you today. I made these for my kids and they claimed they were the best pancakes they have ever had. Um, and I have to agree with them, they were so good, had such a good flavor and were so fluffy. So let's start with this recipe. I'm gonna start by melting three tablespoons of butter in my microwave. And while that's melting, I'm going to put one cup of the starter into my bowl. So now after you take that out, you're going to want to feed this again. And we're gonna um, add one cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can substitute regular milk. I'm going to crack two eggs. Okay, now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and now my butter should be melted, mostly melted. I'm going to whisk all of this first and then I'll add my flour. Now I'm going to add one and a half to two cups of flour. You just want to add enough so it gets that pancake consistency. So I'll start with one cup. Not too thick, not too thin. This is not like regular pancake batter where you just whip it up and, and make your pancakes. This needs some time to sit and develop. Um, you're going to let this sit for a minimum of 30 minutes on your counter, or if you want a better flavor, more of the sourdough flavor, put it in your fridge overnight. So this is a good recipe to do the night before for breakfast the next morning. I'm gonna add a little more flour. So I have about another half of a cup here. That is just about perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover this lightly and let it sit um, anywhere from 30 minutes to overnight in your fridge. 30 minutes if it's just on the counter. Okay, this has been sitting on my counter for about 30 minutes and right before you're going to put them on the griddle or your skillet, um, you're going to add some leavening agents. This will just help them get really puffy and fluffy. I have a teaspoon of powder. A teaspoon of soda. And a teaspoon of salt. You're gonna stir those in right before you're ready to bake. If you feel like your batter has gotten too thick while it has been sitting there, feel free to add a little bit more buttermilk or regular milk, just a splash, just to thin it out a little bit if you feel like you need to. I have this on about 350 degrees, and these will spread and puff up quite a bit, so make sure you leave room in between. You can tell pancakes are ready to flip when they just start to look cooked on the outside. This is getting there. Ah, yes. And I'll just kind of flip them over and check to see if they're the same brown on the other side. And if they are, they're good to go. 
This will probably make about 16, 12 to 16 average size pancakes. You can half this recipe really easy, easily. I actually double it when I'm making breakfast for my family. And my seven year old, who usually can only eat barely one pancake, ate two and a half of these. They were that good. Okay friends, there you have it, my sourdough pancakes. I'd love to hear feedback on this recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. And if you wanna see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. You can also catch me on Instagram, at Neurotic Mom.